we're out here in the field, me and Trevor, we have this wheel line. It doesn't want to move. The, uh, the hydraulic motor that runs it, for whatever reason, and just isn't working. Either the, the motor's bad or the pump that runs the, the hydraulic lines could be bad. So we have to take it apart and get some new parts for it. See if we can get it working. It has these two, there's a hydraulic motor on each side. It has this sprocket here and this sprocket over here. So there's a hydraulic motor on each side and it's ran by a, a gas motor that just pumps the hydraulic, the pressurizes the, the motors. So we're thinking that the, the, the gas engine works fine. So we're thinking that the uh, hydraulic motors must be bad or something. So we're gonna take it apart get you a better look here what we got going on so there's a one motor there the other motor right there and then it feeds into this this right here that is hooked to the motor there's a this is just a motor right here it's like a lawnmower engine motor and then this lever right here you flip it one way or the other and it turns these hydraulic motors but, yeah, as I said, it is not working right now. I actually remembered to bring the tripod out today, so I don't actually have to hold it while we work. Well, you've got to between the two. So. Alright, well, we pulled this apart. This is just the, the pump. It's got a gear there, then there's another gear up here on the shaft, somewhere if I can find it, right there. And those gears mesh together, and when they spin, it creates the pressure, but they look fine. So we're going to go ahead and just take the motors off and replace both the motors. We'll put this back together. I can turn this piece. Should be able to get the ball. <laughs> at least they're on their own swivel yeah they should come off pretty easy what if we just unhooked them from the valve body here just unscrew them from right here and then we'll take the hoses and everything back to the shop and put them in the vise and take them off on the truck. Bad spot for advice, I guess.
got the new motors. Now we're just putting the hoses on so we can put them all together. Let's see. Yeah, we get it over there and it doesn't work. Oh no, we put it together wrong. Feeling is you're not the right size. Don't say that, Trevor. If you're not the right size, then we have a problem. Why won't you ever? I have to turn this to get the two other ones in. I've got the outside too started this got this thing back together. Trevor switched all the hoses so they're now in the right spots. So we're gonna fire it up and hopefully it works. Hopefully it'll start. Will it move? Something's not right. All right, well we figured out what the problem was, why it wouldn't move. It's because we had Two lines switched, so we're just switching them. That T right there has to be on the bottom. They have to be on the same side. So on one side it's on the bottom, on one side it's the top. They both need to be on either on bottom or on top. So we're switching it and then it should work. Alright, got them switched, so see if it runs. Hydraulic motors were bad. But now it's moving, you can see the whole line moves together. That's how a wheel line is supposed to work. You have to make sure that it is drained and empty before you move it or it'll just snap it. Good, good, we got it going. Get it ready and hooked up so when we start watering it'll be on. Because these potatoes have only actually had one one round of watering so far because we've had so many issues. So they are starving for water. We'll get it going. Anyway, thanks for joining us on this little adventure. If there's any content you want to see, anything you've ever wondered how farmers do it or whatever, let us know in the comments and we'll try to accommodate and uh, show you how it's done.